Good morning, everyone. Cambro Marshall, KPRC Channel 2 meteorologist. You look outside, it looks rather calm right now as we're preparing for a sunrise on this Father's Day. Temperatures close to where they are this time of the year, this time of the day, about 74 degrees. That's the average over the last 30 years. 73 at Katy, Hobby 75, Galveston 77 degrees. We'll see cooler temperatures today. When I say cooler, let's just say not quite as hot. We'll have increased chances of thunderstorms, however. Yesterday, about a 20% chance, and that was uh, focused on pretty much the afternoon, where a lot of our, one of our models we used yesterday was actually right on with the timing and the placement of the strongest storm yesterday afternoon. We'll see a more widespread opportunities for showers today. Low 90s, the temperature highs we expect with those scattered showers. Monday, Deja vu weather day, pretty much the same sort of scenario. Here's what's looking like on exact track radar with these storms firing off the coast right now. They're firing right off of the line where a stationary boundary is focused right now. We had a severe thunderstorm warning for this storm that's moving off of the Victoria area right now. But now this is a new action here right off coast. If you're waking up in Galveston and looking off to the uh, Gulf, you can see lightning and uh, some thunderstorms are moving in your direction. We'll see a chance for that this morning as they are expected to move on inland. We'll keep an eye on all of that for you, of course. And throughout the day, this Futurecast model was the one that was pretty accurate yesterday. Right now it's firing. It's picking up some of this off the coast here, a little bit behind what it is actually, but by 9 o'clock it shows inland showers and thunderstorms here in the southern part of the area south of Interstate 10 throughout the afternoon. You notice by uh, 10 o'clock on Sunday right along the coast there, more widespread storms there and then you go into the afternoon. We still have them all throughout. Now they're not really pulling together making a real big storm like we had yesterday but they're still there and they have a chance for some of these especially in the afternoon to go severe. We don't expect that but right now the atmospheric conditions will provide the opportunity for them to go severe in some cases. Uh, we'll keep it on all of that for you. We'll be here throughout this Father's Day letting you know what's going on. Temperatures, as I said, mid 70s. The dew points are still around 70 and higher. That means it's a little bit humid. And you probably know that. You look at the wind speeds right now, nothing consistent. But right here, this is where the stationary boundary is. And that's where these storms are firing off right now with the winds pretty calm throughout much of the area here. We'll keep an eye on all of that. Here's a broader shot of this boundary. It's right down along the coast for the most part. High pressure on the northeast. And this is something very interesting because this is going to be the trend going forward here. You look at the drier air, very dry air in the uh, atmosphere right along the east coast. And squeeze, it's lighter color. This is where all the moisture is. And that's where right along that stationary boundary. So that's our light in life for not only today, but the next several days as well. Here's the stationary boundary here we're looking at. Dome of high pressure that gave us clear skies for much of the week. That's off to the west of us now. We'll see that sliding back in a little bit in the next couple of days, but not for now. And we're also looking at this area down in the uh, Bay of Campeche, where now the National Hurricane Center gives it about a 70% chance of developing. Computer models, even if it does develop, doesn't give it a chance to do much except go straight into Mexico. That's what the latest models look like right now. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Hurricane hunters are expected to maybe fly that later on this afternoon if there is a need. Going to the Astros game today, 1 o'clock, 110, 86 degrees at noon, 87 at 1, 9, 90 degrees at 3 o'clock with the rain chances up there pretty much, but still, I'd call that winning weather on this Father's Day. Dash plays tonight as well, not Orlando, but Kansas City at 715. Get on out there if you can. 90 degrees for a high today, 92 on the first day of summer tomorrow. Rain chances about the same tomorrow. Less on Tuesday as well. We'll see rain chances coming back in the forecast next weekend. Throughout the week, pretty clear with an afternoon chance of a shower along the way.